What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Untouchable Force, and right now I'm about to give you the rundown on my beastie and completed PC. Uh, the only thing that I'm missing right now is the keyboard and mouse combo. But that's not bothering me, and that's not stopping me from enjoying the hell out of this thing. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, what this beast internals looked like uh, and just how well of a job I actually did putting this thing together. So, let's open this up. So, I've gone ahead and removed the uh, rear panel screws and let me just slide this baby open right now. Okay, so now that we got this thing open, I'm just going to start going piece by piece showing you uh, what's running the show here. Uh, first things first is the power supply. That is a Seasonic X-Series uh, Pro 650 watt gold rated power supply. Uh, I'm not sure um, all the specifications on there, but it's fully modular, which is awesome, which means that um, I don't have to have any extra cables plugged into there. I can have uh, pretty much what I need. Uh, anything that I'm not using, I just unplug from that modular port that it has back there. Um, behind here, uh, the mother of all boards, the motherboard, um, is going to be a, give me one second, let me just get the full details on there, is an ASRock Z68 Extreme G Gen 3 motherboard. Um, you can see all the little thing right here, blah, 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 PCI 3.0. Supports Intel Core, blah, 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 all that nonsense. Um, I can't really show you the motherboard, but uh, that's it right there. Uh, next up is uh, my RAM. I'm using two sticks of G-Skill uh, 4 gigabytes RAM. Blah. That's uh, PCI 1600, blah, 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 I'm not even sure. The processor that's under that cooling unit is uh, Intel i5 2500K. Uh, I haven't overclocked it. It's still stock. I'm not bothering with that now because it's been running amazing. I'm, I have no problems with the computer so far. Um, there's a big 100 and what is that 200 millimeter fan up there. Um, I have my Corsair uh, cooling unit. That's a liquid uh, liquid cooling unit. Um, it's pretty nice. It looks pretty nifty too. Um, so the cooling liquid runs through these tubes here and it exhausts right here. It's really cold. It's pretty cool. Um, but And then the final piece which is what really uh, steals the show is that GTX 580 video card. Um, as you can see also my, my cable management is pretty damn good in this thing. Um, and I give all that credit to the case itself. Uh, but you can see there, that's all the, you know, the main parts. You got my motherboard, my CPU fan, my RAM, my uh, video card, power supply. Uh, here we got the drive bays. That's a, um, I believe is that, that's a 200 millimeter fan up there. Uh, the reason you see it, like, I'm not sure if you can catch the blinking, is because it's being controlled right now. And, I have to I have to actually figure out why why it uh, decides to control that way rather than just spinning at a certain uh, speed it's actually like turning on and off the fan and I'll show you I'll show you what that fan controller looks like so these are the drive bays currently I'm occupying three of these um, and uh, the, the top one is a Mushkin solid-state drive that's 120 gigahertz uh, 120 gigabytes solid state drive which is amazing and honestly that's the best rated one on a uh, new egg for under 150 bucks right now and honestly it's been working so freaking good and i would suggest anybody with a pc gaming rig to to go ahead and purchase themselves an ssd because you can load games on there and they load ridiculously fast so these are the drive bays i got that that 120 gig ssd up here i have a uh, 400 400 gigabyte um, regular HH, uh, HDD running at 7200 RPM. I'm not sure. I think it's a Seagate hard drive. And then I have a, a just a, a backup uh, 80 gig hard drive with Windows XP installed into it. So just in case anything faulty happens with my SSD, 
I can always just uh, boot from this drive and have access to all my information on my SSD or, or any of the other drives. So uh, I, I always have those kind of backups in place. Uh, these are the, um, the drive bays for you know CD-ROM drives and whatnot. It's pretty nice. It's, it's very simple. It has like a clickable. So you can, instead of using screws or anything like that, you just slide the thing in and click it and that's it. Like that's, that's all you need to do. Um, I just have one DVD burner right now. I don't really need extra. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the outside of the case and um, we'll be done with the video. Alright, so there you go. You can see that it has the red LED. This is uh, completely controlled um, by this switch, so I can turn that on, turn that off, which is pretty, uh, pretty convenient in, in my book because my older PC, I had no option to do that. Uh, also, I've installed this uh, fan controller, which is pretty nifty. Um, it's just really there for show in my opinion it does actual work inside the computer so it gives me the it gives me the temperature of whatever fan I have it controlled not not fan essentially but there's uh, there's little sensors that I've placed inside the inside the case on the CPU on the RAM uh, on the video card that give me temperature readings up here on the fan controller so if I tap this it'll give me I believe that's the RAM and that's the video card if I'm if if I'm not mistaken but um you can change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit you just hold there and it changed to Fahrenheit so it's 90 degrees it doesn't feel 90 degrees in there I'll tell you right now and honestly my room is a bit bit hot but that's actually a pretty damn good temperature so I'll click that turn it back into uh, Celsius I can right now it's on auto mode I can switch that into a manual mode where I can control the fans myself um, but fan four and five I don't have connected, so it's only you know the first three, the first three, and it's honestly just for show. But it's pretty cool. This this unit um, actually only costs about twenty five dollars. It's just there for show, you know, kind of something like where people see your PC and they're like, oh, blah, that's pretty cool. But that's all. That's the only reason I really have that there. And then uh, last but not least, just you know my DVD ROM drive bay. You obviously need one of these when it comes to installing stuff. Um, this is for my wireless mic, which is utter crap right now, and I have a USB USB port up here, just like um, headphones, microphone, and an eSATA drive port up there. Uh, and all right, so right now I'm gonna show you what the entire boot time is for my PC. This is booting Windows 7 from that SSD drive that I explained earlier. Uh, right now I'm using my TV as my monitor, so uh, let's check this out. And that's pretty much it. I can already start booting programs. It's a web store, browsing online. Um, everything is just there. All right, so thank you very much, guys, for watching the video. Um, please, if you like the video, rate, comment, subscribe. Ask any questions. If there was anything that I didn't go over, or if you have any tips for me or anything like that, just feel free to um, place them down in the comment section. Uh, Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Untouchable Force, peace.